Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise stream. Today we have episode 10 of my playthrough of the story mode. We're still playing blind. Now technically we're done with the story. We had our friends help us the other day. Uh, the previous episode we fought Narwa, so that was kind of a big checkpoint in the story. I think that we pretty much finished that. However, uh, I can't tell if we should consider this next step grinding or just another step in us completing the story mode. You know what I mean? Because usually right after you finish the actual story mode, you have a lot of things to put together from side quests that you never did when you were actually playing the story mode quests. So we might make a new thumbnail soon and it might say something like grinding Monster Hunter Rise or we might just continue calling it uh, the story mode. This character is so underdeveloped, we still have a long way to go. We got to get better armor. We got to get, what were they calling them? Not charms, they were calling them... I don't remember what they were calling them. We got to get our decorations, we got to get our armor, and then we got to start trying out some new weapons. Uh, and I want to contribute more to fights, and I want to uh, learn how other weapons are used, and probably learn which weapon's best for farming monsters. I guess that would mean I should keep track of who's getting the best speedrun times. Uh, I wonder if that old speedrun website is still up and running and if people are still using it. What's up, Komodova? He says, what's up, everyone? Kenzo says, hey, mister. God Terrorboy says, fastest charm I found is Narwa, Mystery Meld, carding to Special Arena Rejang. Carding? You think I, I'm even capable of carding? There's no way for me to card. I'm just that good. Talismans. Thank you, Mr. Max. Yes, not charms. Talismans. They've changed. They're called talismans now. Do you think Nintendo is capable of making a console as powerful as X Series X? Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Yeah, absolutely they're capable of that. I mean, it's just a matter of putting components together. They choose not to. So, you know, that's part of Nintendo's strategy. They're, they're a business. And probably what they do is they go, well, we could use the latest technology, and here's the cost of the parts of the latest technology. Or, hear me out, we could use old technology and be $100 cheaper than our competitors and make $100 profit, you know, something like that. So they could have always had better technology in their system. They choose not to, and that's that's their whole strategy. Um, do I agree with it? I don't, I don't know. I, Nintendo's a successful company, and I'm just a guy playing video games. So, you know, if, if it's annoying, I actually agree it's a little bit annoying. I wish that their console was just as powerful. And uh, more than that, because I'm not, I'm not a big graphics guy. The graphics don't kill me if they're not perfect. But more than that, one thing that does kill me is the quality of the internet. So uh, I wish that they had like the same high speed internet multiplayer that PlayStation and Xbox have achieved. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to say that that does bother me actually. I think that <clears throat> video games these days are mostly about the multiplayer experience. And if you don't have good multiplayer, what are you doing? And not every game is multiplayer, but I mean like most games have multiplayer. And the biggest games like Fortnite or Call of Duty, they're, they're multiplayer. Speaking of multiplayer, let's go ahead and create a online lobby. Create a lobby. Four people. We're going to have passcode. And the secret passcode is going to be 6969. <sighs> I can't believe that the lobby is only four people. I wish it was more people. I thought it was fun when you had like 16 people in world. They definitely got to, we got to take a point off for that. Maybe they could change it, but I'm going to guess that they intentionally don't have it this way. I don't know why they don't... I don't know why they don't do it the other way. Maybe the console just can't handle it. You know, maybe the Switch just can't handle it. Who knows? Zenchi the Doctor? So anyways, let's take a quick look and um, show off the player list. Where oh, Here it is. There it is. So the lobby ID is 7QDKQH. That's the lobby ID. And our passcode is 6969. God Terrorboy says, Arena Rejang has one card, and failing to it will count as a meld for the charms. What? <laughs> you have to... Failing the Rejang quest will count as a meld for the charms. Oh, so it takes a uh, it takes a quest in order to finish melding, is what he's saying. They want to make a somewhat lightweight console, but they also want to m milk the crap out of their consoles. That's true. I finally made it to where I can start making decorations and I can do high rank hub quests now, but I'm still trying to make my hammer build. 
They could make a console as powerful as a PlayStation 5, but it almost certainly wouldn't be portable. Their games have so much potential if they have stronger consoles, says Komodova. Well, again, um, me personally, the, the graphics do not help sell the game to me. They really don't. I've never cared. I mean, there's a, there's a limit. Okay, if they're way, way behind the other consoles, yeah, that's a problem. But if they're like one step down or even as far as two step downs, okay, not a big deal. You know, I don't buy video games for the graphics. I never have. I've always, I've always bought it for the addictive feeling of playing that game, okay? But poor multiplayer, you know, that's really going to cost them because multiplayer is something I don't like to uh, give up. I really like playing multiplayer. I like playing with you guys. So we're looking for Narga, right? Where's Narga Kuga? Here's the Narga Kuga tree. And I can see we need to fight more Narga Kuga to make this hammer. So I think I'd like to start by fighting Narga Kuga. Hey, we got Terra Boy in here. It's God Terra Boy. Ooh, let's take a look at his build. How about that? So we got three Hammer Boys and Wellix using a hunting horn. That's cool. Uh, let's see what he's got. View equipment. So there's the Zenogre, uh, not Zenogre, Narga Kuga Hammer, Zenogre Helmet, Romobra Suit. We were looking at that with the Crit Boost, right? Rathalos Braces, attack boost, huh? Anjanath Coil is also attack boost. And here's Crit Boost from Rajang. Very good. Actually, let's go see if... I might be able to build some of that stuff right now. Because those monsters are unrelated to uh, Nargakuga, right? So we don't have to be conservative with those. That's Narwa. Ubushi Golden. <laughs> we need the Beast Gem times two. So you can't build that. Diablo's Tigrix, Gross, Sinister. Sinister, huh? Here it is. The Zenogre. We can't build the Zenogre helmet. We should get that Zenogre helmet. What do we need for it? Horns and Electro fur. Nargapuga. The Anjanath coil, huh? <clears throat> so he's got some attack boost. Kadashi, Somnicanth, Remobra. We need Remobra Hide. I don't even remember fighting Remobra. Must have blazed through it. So he's got that Crit Boost 3. Their games have so much potential. Have you seen Gaijin Hunter's method on making money? I went from 50k to a million in one day. <laughs> what in this game? Oh, you know, I usually don't worry about money in this game. Because if you just play it enough, you have enough money. Now the question is, what quest should we play? Let's go look up Hob Low Quest. And uh, I know you guys are going to hate this. But I need to get all these done. And what I'm, what I'm probably going to do... I will probably go through each one of these. But I won't do it in order so that you guys don't get bored, okay? Wait, let me ask you guys something. Do we, do we have to do... Is there a benefit to doing all the quests in this? I know there was a benefit to getting all the quests done in, uh, ooh, a Rampage quest. Low rank Rampage. Wind Serpent Ibushi. Look at all the monsters. I'm falling behind because busy at work and bad RNG. Oh man. Give me that good RNG. Almadron, Diablos, Tigrix, Rajang. Remobo is a small monster. Oh, okay. Here's a Rajang uh, Zenoga quest. We can get this one done. God Terror Boy says, from what I've heard, there's barely a benefit. I think high rank has the benefits, not low rank. Okay. We're going to start with the high rank quest. We're going to be fighting uh, Zenogre and Rajang because I need both of those guys. And really at this point, I ought to be carrying traps and I have to have an item loadout. So I need to be working on that a little bit too. To Now's the time to kind of refine these issues. Here, let's put on a layered armor. Do I have a whole set? <laughs> okay. I don't know. That's like worse somehow. <laughs> Never mind. 
Never mind. Let's depart. <laughs> I need to do expedition for the Renobra hide. What's up, mister? I remember watching your world streams and you had a lot more people watching. What happened? Mr. Joe Mama, thanks for joining us again. Uh, well, basically, I went AFK for like, I think over a year. I stopped working on the Game Economist channel for over a year. So, uh, and that's it, uh, you know. If, if you stream every day, you build an audience for streaming every day. And if you don't stream every day, that audience kind of moves on. Uh, but here I am. I'm back again. Monster Hunter Rise is out. You know, most of it is I was done playing Monster Hunter World. That's what happened. I just kind of concluded. I was like, you know what? There's nothing else for me to do. I've done it all. And, uh, you know, I was a little tired of it. You can only play so much of a video game every single day without getting tired. And it's not like I was getting paid a ton of money to be like some mega pro Fortnite player or anything so there's people who get into like competitions and they make a whole career out of being in competitions but i you know i was just playing for fun and uh yeah it stopped being fun at some point and a whole year passed and finally this game is out so uh now i'm having fun again and one day i'll be done playing this game too and uh hopefully hopefully uh the new dark souls game will come out elden ring it's not dark souls but it's made by um FromSoft, right? Made by FromSoft. It's probably going to be amazing. So, you know, I just haven't had a game I've wanted to play. It's not like I was going to start up another Minecraft server, <laughs> which I don't think I'd have gotten a lot of views for that anyways. Um, but that's it. I just didn't have anything to play. And in the meantime, I started a, a second channel called The Card Economist, and that channel's done really well. Uh, it turned into a small business. I'm an LLC. I, I, I run an online card business now. So that's what I've been doing in my free time. So it's not like I haven't been making content. I've been making more content than ever before. Okay, so I've been working hard on the other channel. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I had to file as a small business and hire an accountant. And we, I sell cards all day now. And uh, the, the channels, the, the sort of role I play is something called a card breaker. Not a card breaker, a box breaker. There we go, we, box breaker, where what you do is you You'll take like a valuable box and you'll you'll break it open for people who have ordered packs in that box. And there's a value to having somebody do that for you because it has to do with like making sure you're getting authentic cards and making sure you get. Come on, man! I keep getting knocked down. Making sure you're getting authentic cards. Making sure you're getting cards that haven't been tampered with or searched or you know what I mean. So I do that. I've got a $30,000 box that we are selling the packs off to, and when those are all sold off, I'll be opening those up for everyone. So that's kept me busy, uh, and I've got a really nice Pokemon card collection. I know you guys are big Pokemon nerds over here, right? <laughs> some of you might. Uh, some, oh my god, some of you might not be. And uh, But I'm a big Pokemon card nerd, I always was, and I've been enjoying that enormously. See, I haven't gone anywhere. I've, I've been on YouTube streaming literally every day. I actually stream more now. Oh man, he still got me with that. What the hell? I stream more now than I did in the past. I actually stream more today than I used to. Uh, I stream all seven days of the week. All seven days. Certain materials have a better drop chance now if you slay the monster instead of capturing. Yeah, I heard about that. You're a big Pokemon nerd. Nah, -uh, stop trying to trick me, mister. Boop. It's kind of funny because the, uh, the Pokemon card channel was sort of a hobby channel that I was doing on the side while I did Monster Hunter. Now I feel like it's kind of flipped. Now I play games for fun and the card channel is the main channel in a way you know that's where i i've got a lot of business going on and i can't skip it and uh that's where i've built my primary audience over the last basically it's been like a full year uh, but i'm enjoying this so this is now playing games is kind of the hobby right playing the games is what i do for fun take a break from opening cards and play some video games oh the new monster hunter rise looks pretty legit does it mister the guy who um the guy who does all the editing for this channel he reached out to me today he said hey give me some work so we might have to start getting some edited videos out again 
<clears throat> I'm looking forward to Elden Ring as well, but with so little news in regards to the game, I'm thinking a 2022 release. Oh man. Woo! I remember I can die to these guys. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Just as he's knocked down, too. I'm, like, spamming these buttons here. Nice. I did actually get the last hit. Anjanath! Don't hit me. Oh, he hit me. I remember the time when you used to ask TGC subscribers to help you subscribe to TCC to get a 1K. So YouTube allows you to stream. Yeah, that was a while ago. Um... Exactly, that was a while ago. I wasn't allowed to stream over there until it, you'd get a certain number of subscribers. Was it was it stream? I don't remember. What's a good high rank hammer build? It's gonna be Nargakuga. Nargakuga hammer right now is the best hammer. In my opinion. You get Nargakuga hammer and you get crit boost. The Nargakuga hammer has built in affinity. Ray Jane was designed off Goku Super Saiyan 8 from the Dragon Ball. Really? <laughs> Woo! Please on those edited videos, a possible new Lance video. Uh, why Lance is still the worst weapon in the game? T by TCC. Get all the Lance mains angry. They'll be like, he's not even a real fan. <laughs> Naga Poop, fun fact, Ray Jane was designed... Oh, I already read that one. I'm looking forward to Elden Ring. This new Monster on the Rise looks pretty legit. Just checking through your comments. Oh my gosh, he's got arms as hard as steel. Wellix, look out! <laughs> he launched Wellix. All right. We've been schmooping on him. Back black fur. That's racist. All right. Now for the Zenogre. Where's he hiding? Do you still get pride armor pigment? <laughs> pride armor pigment. I think you do. What's up, DeVost? How's it going, man? Now, is that DeVos DeVost? That's not DeVos DeVost, is it? Let's grab this little bird. Woo! -hoo! Did you ever get anything figured out with the house you was trying to buy? What's up, Westfire? Uh, yes, in fact, we are in contract to buy a nice house on the side of the lake. So not near the lake, but on the actual side of it. And it's a lot more house than we thought we were going to buy. So it's a lot bit there is it's kind of pricey um but that's how it ended up working out because all the houses were going for tons of money um and you just couldn't get a nice house without spending tons of money so but we've we've picked one out and uh now we're just waiting to make the actual house payment on it the the mortgage uh what is it we're we're, we're looking to make that final payment that makes the house ours the bank's actually having us fill out a bunch of uh, information about ourselves. They're like, so, where did you get all that money from? Because I recently sent a bunch of money to my wife for my PayPal. They're like, uh, you got money from PayPal. What does that mean? And <laughs> so now they, we have to, like, explain. Uh, because I wasn't, they, you know, they were just running the, the mortgage off of her finances. They didn't know about my finances from selling cards. So they're like, where are you getting all this money from? Uh oh. Oh. Oh! He smashed me! Glad to see you're back in Monster Hunter. Are you gonna grind guides like in World? Uh, yes, maybe. It, it just, um, so I'm, I've got two channels now and they're competing with each other for time. And so part of it is whether or not I can find help for someone who wants to help partner up and, and get these guides made. But I'd, I'd like to do that. that. That would be the goal. You know, I made a. A large number of guides for world and 
I kept an eye on this channel, the Game Chronicles channel. I, I kept an eye on it for a long time. And the guides continue to be watched long after I stopped playing. So I, I disappeared for like a full year from this channel. And people were still using the guides. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, that's so cool. And you know, if they ever do like a remake of Monster Hunter World, you know, it's going to be the same deal. People are going to come back and watch the same guides. So yeah, I've, I've, definitely, I've definitely thought about it, making guides. Uh, if I do, I want to make sure I focus on just probably the very best ones. And uh, I don't want to make them until I have more experience with this game. So for now, I'm just doing live streaming. I'm just doing live streaming for now. Ooh, some honey. Damn IRS. The basically scrutinize every tiny aspect of your life when buying a home is quite invasive. Well, you know, they're the one right now at a, uh, you know, $400,000 mortgage. So it's, it's nothing unusual about it, I guess. <laughs> so they're, but yeah, they, we thought we were all good with the finances. And they're, they're like, wait a second, where are you getting this from? Where are you getting that money from? Ooh, a bone pop. You know me, a big lover of bones. Oh no! This is when you bring your trap out, right? We should have traps. I'm looking to build a hammer build with attack boost, crit eye, crit boost, and slugger. Any high rank armor set with these skills. I think you would struggle to get the slugger. I, I will have to look and see how slugger looks again. What's interesting is, you know, from all my experience with Monster Hunter World, a lot of the stuff in this game doesn't quite have to be researched as much. It's like a lot of this stuff I already know. So to make a guide for a game like this would take less time for sure. Will you do a party when you move in? Uh, probably not. My wife and I are pretty... Oh, my wife and I don't really do parties and stuff like that. We're pretty relaxed. Oh my god. And oh my god, he did hit me. I thought he wasn't going to hit the third time. I thought he would stop at the, after the second strike. But yeah, um, yeah we're pretty... We're pretty private. What the hell? He's still kind of following me. Get out of here, man. He's using his super, super claw. Ooh, I think we knocked him out of it. We all have the same idea. <laughs> Did you see all those wire bugs? Get him, mister. Unless you're leaving out weakness exploit. You better not be leaving out weakness exploit, mister. Not for slugger. Man, I'm healing all the time. Does your wife work remotely? How since... Now since the pandemic? Yes, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so she's a software engineer, and I'm a content creator, and we both work full remote. That's how we're able to buy this home out in the Lake of the Ozarks. The Lake of the Ozarks is a very remote place, and mostly people go there to buy their vacation home, their second home. Uh, in our case, we're buying a home to actually live in. And so we're able to do that because both of us just work on the internet. It's actually pretty cool. It makes you think about what the future is going to look like. There's going to be a lot of remote workers who can just move wherever they want, like maybe the island of Hawaii or, you know, places that traditionally you couldn't move to because there were no jobs to, to work those areas. Um, but there's going to be a lot more of that, especially I think you're going to see a lot of people leaving California and driving the house prices up in other, other uh, states because now they don't have to work in actual California. They can earn a California salary and live in a much cheaper state like Missouri. And actually, you know, uh, the price of the homes that we were looking at is so tragic because like one year ago, they would have cost like 300, 380,000. And now they cost like 500 to 600,000. Why? Because everyone's going to Lake of the Ozark and buying a house right now. We weren't the only ones who had that idea. And uh, we're hoping that the house, the, the value of the house remains the same over time. All right, what do we get? Black fur, raging claw, fang, raging pelt, stout bone. Here's a high commendation. Bro, I just woke up and I ended up here via autoplay. What's up, heliophobe? How's it going, man? Leave, leave slugger for the true KO King sticky ammo. 
That's right. Sticky ammo and, and slugger is disgusting together. All slugger ammo users want the same thing and it's disgusting. Slugger. All meldings complete. Let's take a look. Dragon attack and part breaker. Muck resistance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay, we, we get it. That, uh, I'm understanding. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Now we can take the raging legs. Very good. And this gives us our crit boost. Crit boost level two. Perfect. And we're going to go after the Zenogar helmet too. We need Zenogar electro fur. And we have two out of three. So we need to fight him one more time. You live on the sun. Weakness exploit sounds good too. You picked up a gem earlier, says Kyle. Oh, should I put in my armor? We should put in my armor. So let's see, how does this work? Decorations, create decorations. Create element, really? Steadfast attack, jumping. Friendship level two, that's cool. Fortitude's still in the game. You think Fortitude's any good? Somebody told Fortitude was nerfed. How do I place a decoration? Oh, okay, we can upgrade the armor too. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade these? Because I got the feeling we're going to be using these for a while. Oh, that's expensive, dude. We'll do it. We're, we're going to be using these legs for a while, in my opinion. So that's been upgraded. And uh, do we not have any decorations? Let's see. Well, I tell you what, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait to work on that. If you can set decorations, you should definitely be able to set them from the item box. Equipment loadout, layered loadout. Kitty, what the heck are you doing, kitty? Transmitting data? Oh my god. Transmitting COVID-21. You need to do some farming on the Argosy and get an Almudron plate. An Almudron plate. You got it, mister. There's Rajang again. Serpent Narwa. Nah, we don't want to do Whirlwind. Uh, let's see what this is. Here's a Nargapuga. Any double Nargapugas we can work on? Hmm. Learn the Longsword. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and just fight Nargakuga and just focus on getting that hammer. <laughs> Have you done herb trades for Toxic Kumori? I've not done herb trades for Toxic Kumori, no. Let's go ahead and eat a meal. You can set decorations once you have some, Law. You don't have any. Do a mining out crops and sell the ore. Decos don't drop as rewards. Materials to craft them do. That's what I was figuring, too. I decided not to craft any because I didn't see any that I had to have at the moment. Time to go. Oh, cool. So you can go out here. Ding, ding, ding. Oops.
All right. The meta set makes you look like a male stripper. Hell yeah. You like that kitty? You want to be a male stripper? Kitty's over here on the couch. She's needing a pillow. <laughs> All right, here we are. Wait, 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 wait. Let's grab the, um... Let's grab these free potions. Nobody else is using them. Where I live, for 600,000 yoy, only will find an appoint apartment. Well, I don't even know what that currency is compared to the dollar, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know how it uh, converts. I'm assuming that means expensive. All right, let's go find him. What's a good way to get into Pokemon? How do you know which packs are profitable? That's a great question. Um, you know, I guess knowing all that stuff is kind of what makes you very good at it. Come on now. A lot of it just comes down to prediction. And sometimes you predict things correctly. Really, if you'd bought anything in the last year, your packs probably went up double, triple, or quadruple in price. Uh, Pokemon cards really went up in price over time. Ooh, we got a Nova Crystal. Yeah, they went way up in price. Oh man, they already got started. <laughs> Although we didn't land both parts of it. I'm just gonna spam this, man. I'll go for it. What's a good way to get into Pokemons? You know, I got into it just because I was going after old, old Pokemon cards that I loved as a child. That was it. There was no plan to make money or anything like that. I was just trying to get into it because I really liked Pokemon cards. Get this bone pile. You're from Luxembourg. Woohoo! I want to be from Luxembourg. That sounds fancy. Isn't Luxembourg that tiny, tiny country where you got to be all like fancy to get in? I'm going to be fancy. Can I be one of the beautiful people? Pokey stonks. That's right. Stonks! Oh, is he getting another knockdown? Wow, how many times did he run him into the wall? That was like four times, right? <laughs> he knocked me down. Bet you never heard of it. No, I've heard of Luxembourg. Luxembourg's kind of like Switzerland, right? It's just a small country. The English voice acting is so cheesy. Master, what are you talking about? That's my favorite part about the game. I think I'm going to switch to a melee weapon like Bogan right now. It's expensive. <laughs> Broke boy sounds. <laughs> Broke boy vibe. Oh, he's roaring at me. I mean, he got a spiky tail, doesn't he? Ray Jang, did he bring Ray Jang over? <laughs> it's Raw Jang? <laughs> Two, three. Oh, snap. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to land. Man, that's crazy how the, the mounts are so powerful for these fights. <laughs> He's running away. I'm out of here. Get over here, doggy. 
I think I'm going to switch to a melee weapon, break the wings. Yeah, these are easy comments. Wait, where'd he go? Just following the arrow. This poor Narga. I want to know, how are people getting these mounts so quickly on these other monsters? Like, do you go and fight them? Because I know with, like, the hammer, you're not going to get the mount instantly. There's Toby Kaduchi. Is he leaving again? Oh my gosh. Terra says, I'm on it. Beat him up! Oh, that's sad. So he's, he's thunder blighted, is that right? And what does that mean for like the fight? For him to be thunder blighted. Gosh, I'm surprised he's not dead yet. Hey, thanks for the donation, Max Kalina. Did you see another 24 hour live stream for all Narga weapons like you did for Raging Bracky and World? Oh, no, 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 no. They didn't even save it. YouTube didn't even save that live stream. It was all for naught. <laughs> 24 hour live stream. Oh, I was so like physically drained by that. And, and it wasn't really even worth it in the end. Uh, maybe a 12 hour stream someday. The thing is, I don't know if I want to do a 12 hour grind for Nargakuga weapons when Nargakuga is not even like that crazy of a fight. And almost guaranteed, it is almost guaranteed that his weapon will be made obsolete on the first DLC. You watch, the first DLC will come out and then Narga weapons won't mean anything, you know what I mean? So, uh, we can collect a Narga Kuga weapon or, or two before the first DLC for fun, but the moment that new DLC comes out, if it's featuring new monsters, they'll end up being the best weapon that you're supposed to have, you know what I mean? Because that's how it works. That's how it works, that's how they get you coming back. Oh, my eyes itchy. Did I tell you guys it was allergy season? <laughs> Thunder Blight adds extra stun value. Oh, okay. When it comes to hub quests, I don't like doing them alone at all. Well, it looks like we still didn't get the right Nargakuga part, so we're going to have to fight him again, unfortunately. A donation you guys know you can use the donation the streamlabs donation the links in the description and when you when you do that the cute little character pops up on screen and the robot lady reads out your order I guess I'll just toss Nargakuga back up there it was a lower level wasn't it yeah Collect all Rampage weapons. We want to beat this Nargakuga up. It's feline insurance time. What? Hunter notes. Large monsters. Nargakuga. I think it's the Nargakuga Mara we're looking for, right? So target reward, capture reward, broken part, carves. 12% on carves. Hmm. Okay. I know it's allergy season full well. Bring your gathering cat out with you. Well, I don't got a gathering cat. Give me yours. Grab.
grinding for one Nargakuga hammer. We're already 40 minutes in. It's actually kind of surprising. Well, we got the uh, we got the Rejang legs going, so that's good. We've we've made some progress on making our character more viable, more powerful. <laughs> Lucky life found. What? I want to live a lucky life. Why can't I have a lucky life? Is a lucky life, is that when you're born to like a rich guy? <laughs> Obtain a fortune owl feather. Where are we going? Oh, you're going after the Ray Jang. Dark is way over here, man. Following the wrong guy. Should have been looking at my map. Bring it on. Oh, wow. We got defense plus two. Oh. But I'll take this. Hold on. You still need low rank materials from Nargakuga. Really? Those aren't just like meldable or something? That'd be nice. Time now. Ooh, we got another Nova Crystal. Alright, here we are. He's trying to mount him. Are you maining hammer in this playthrough? Y yeah, basically we already have. So we're, we're basically done. I'm just farming for better armor and better equipment now. So whenever an actual tough monster comes out, we can, you know, kind of uh, provide some, you know, real assistance to fighting him. <laughs> we don't want to be last in damage output. <laughs> actually pretty wild how um, how good it is at knocking down the other monster I hit him in the chest not the head god damn it did I just climb on uh oh rut row Shouldn't have thrown him over there. It was kind of a bad position. He's trying to mount him. Are you maining hammer in the playthrough? Medulla? We need the medulla oblongata. What? much damage to his wings, do we? Just going for it. Oh, but he knocks me out of the air. Lately, I've just been spamming. Let's go ahead and sharpen. Unless he's gonna leave? Yeah, I think he left. How do you get up there? He can't just run up there. Why 
Wow, where's it having me run? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what? Is it really having me go all the way around? Grab this material. Wyvern tier. Wow, that actually really worked out. I mean, he just turned around and all of a sudden it was. Oh, snap. All of a sudden it was time to uh, smack him in the head. Wasn't even aiming for the head, I was just aiming for the tail. Uh oh, we're getting those first aid meds. We don't want those anymore. Heart's broken. Uh oh. Oh, we had the high ground. I don't like doing hub press. Mister, go to the blacksmith wish list. The weapon, and you will know. Am I? Am I gathering? I can't even tell. Hey, there's some Nargakuga Mero. Nargakuga Mero. Excuse me, Mero. An Argakuga scale, huh? But that's not what we're looking for. Was it medulla? Somebody said we we're looking for the medulla. I don't like doing hub quests alone, mister. Here's a bug. Thunderbug? That's what I was looking for. How did they know? Whew. Are we having fun yet? Man, I feel like I'm just replaying Monster Hunter World a little bit. You know what I mean? All this grinding to get a better weapon. What do you think, Kitty? Kitty agrees. All right, so let's run out here and learn a little bit more about the Nargapuga weapons. Here's Nargapuga. So, I guess the first step is we would need to craft this. Uh, okay. And then, for this, we actually do need lower level materials, I think. Nargakuga Scale, Nargakuga Fang. So that would be like low rank Nargakuga materials. Now we have the materials for the high rank hidden breaker. Ah, we don't have a Narga Medulla. So we still have not collected one of these. We also don't have the money to upgrade this hammer. Very interesting. Okay, so now we know we need to fight a low rank Narga Kuga and a high rank Narga Kuga. We might need to fight two low rank Narga Kugas. Hopefully not. World was the big, beautiful money maker, so now all the future monsters must follow its example. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Hunter, mister. <laughs> Alright, we'll eat a meal. And we'll order the usual. Okay. Okay. 
Battle's done. World had investigations at least. Here we have to repeat the same hub quest with the same scripted mounted monster. Hmm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I guess I guess the tempered investigations were kind of fun because you would always hope that you were going to grab like you will hope that you're going to grab an investigation with maybe like five rewards. You know what I'm saying? So that was actually kind of fun. Alright, let's go find him. Beat him up. Oh, some of you already got camps, huh? I see how it is. Now, also, for crafting... We're going to turn off first aid meds because we don't want them anymore. Rise had 5 million sales already. Woo! That's a lot of sales. They are raking in some money. What do we have That's some here? monster hunter money. Jesus Christ, man. Is she really way up here? <laughs> Did he break that house? I didn't know that could happen. Oh, you can get interrupted. That sucks. What I did. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't hit me with that. Hope you got insurance. <laughs> what? Me that way. Say it again, bitch. Infernal melody. Oh, good. Now I've got the infernal melody. What did they do to weapon armor that it's world was atrocious? Is this more like world versus rise? Misters. Everyone knows that Monster Hunter Rise is the supreme ultimate game. And if you don't have it, you're a poor boy. <laughs> I'm just teasing. World had six tough elders from the get-go as opposed to two. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying that Nargakuga's not a tough elder, huh? That's elder racist. I don't know if I can accept that. <laughs> you know it's grinding when you're you start yawning. I'll hold my judgment until the next title update. I'm currently playing Monster Hunter Rise right now. What they did to weapon armor aesthetics and world was atrocious. In the hunter notes you view, no habits for monsters if you're gonna fight them. They're nope, gotta replay scripted missions. Wait, I wanna replay a scripted mission? Where's my scripted mission? Just jumping along with my puppers. I want to play some rescripted missions. What the? 
Why are you guys hogging all the rescripted missions to yourselves? I mean, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I hear you complaining, but you know, if the missions were like, let's say, totally random each time, then the speedrunners would go, oh man, it sucks speedrunning. Every time you speedrun, the monster's in a new location. You know what I mean? So it's like you can't please everyone. It's impossible. Half of them were dog shit annoying, like Kushala. That's right. Kushala de Ura, the best monster in Monster Hunter World. You know, I would consistently rank him as, like, one of the worst, right? Because all he did was fly. You fight him with, like, sticky ammo, I guess. <laughs> he was so terrible. Yeah, he was, he was terrible. How did I unlock Laird Armor? I don't know. I played through the story, I guess. Ah, Kushala de Ura. They should have brought in rusted Kushala de Ura and gave him a totally different moveset. That would have been cool. Okay, here's the Nargakuga tree. Oh my lord, we're still shy one Nargakuga scale, guys. I'm so sorry. I hate to do this to you, but we're going to play Nargakuga low level again. I mean, if you guys have a second weapon that you want to build... Oh, Terra backed out. That means there's a spot for someone. Anyone who wants to join, by the way, thank you, Mr. Terra, for helping. Here's the player list. Lobby ID is 7QDKQH. And the passcode is 6969. So if you want to pop in, there's a spot for one person. And in the meantime, I'm going to get this low-level investigation started. Dude, I'm going to sneeze what I'm going to do. Oh, man, I got to sneeze. Hold on. Oh, I'm dying, man. <laughs> oh, you ever sneeze and then your your whole like mouth itches? Terrible feeling. I'm looking out my window, I can see a tree with flowers on it right now. Hold on, I gotta sneeze again. Oh my god, allergies should be made illegal. Where's cancel culture? We need we need somebody to cancel allergies. That would be useful. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I gotta sniffle my nose a little. Oh, I feel so gross. Okay, so people are talking about Monster Hunter. But I got like a congested, congested nose now. Monster Hunter World is personally one of my favorite games and favorite Monster Hunter game. And I've been playing it since Monster Hunter 1. Rise is fun, but doesn't capture the same scope as Monster Hunter World to me. Oh, well, if you played so much, that means you're right. I enjoyed Monster Hunter World, Iceborne cutscenes, and the general's conclusion for everything is Nergi Gante. <laughs> lonely Turnip, what's up, man? So Lonely Turnip, by the way, guys, was doing the editing for a lot of the videos before the end of uh, Monster Underworld Iceborne when we were, when eventually I took a break from that, remember that? If you hang from a wire bug as the quest timer ends, you can skip the victory animation. What? All right, quick, put in the 10 things you didn't know about Monster Underworld, or Monster Hunter Rise. I'm so used to saying Monster Underworld. It's like one word for me. Kushala is objectively a bad hunt, not fun. Oh man. Kushala is in the corner crying right now. <laughs> I love the variants. Fulger, Fulger Anjanath was my favorite. Runa would be way better if you couldn't trip lock him. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that I thought that Runa Nergigante was terrible too. He um he was not as good as Nergigante. A lot of his moves were very easy to avoid too. I watched the speed runs. You would just look at which way he's gonna fall back down, and you'd be like, oh, let me step to your right then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me join. What's up, Cheese? Cheese, who got in? Tobias? To Tobias Funke? I'm sorry, Cheese. Somebody got in first. We're just doing some low-level grinding, mister. Nothing too crazy. Oh, I probably should try to roll. You need help doing high rank. Well, mister, you're in luck. 
I'm he I'm here to help you. Hang in there. Here for you. Two, three. Oh. What time is it, by the way? It's 4.51, huh? I think we uh, KO'd him there. Because I don't think anyone else was hitting him on the head at the moment. I think that was all us. By the way, if we charge this and let it go while standing still, what does it turn into? Oh, right. Okay. Two, three, don't do it. Is that Magnum Allo? I think Magnum Allo is probably going to win. <laughs> That's TGC second. Brought him over. <laughs> that seems so OP. Did that seem OP? Dude! I think we're hitting harder, guys. I think we're getting that crit boost in. In high rank rampage, has anyone faced a Rejang in there, like in the trailer reveal? They tricked us in the trailers! We knew it! Still using full low rank gear in HR7. Uh, no, that's actually definitely not true. I think that's all high rank, in fact. And the legs I'm wearing are, are like the best legs in the game right now. They're the crit boost legs. So this armor set's uh, getting better. <laughs> Although we are playing low rank at the moment. We're playing low rank because... Oh, there we go. We did it. We got the Nargakuga scale. We might as well kill him. You know, it, it, it makes sense to fight low rank Nargakuga because if you want to upgrade more than one weapon, like let's say you want to do a longsword and hammer, you're going to need lots of Nargakuga weapons for both of them. Wish he'd stop jumping around. Son of a blue blop. Some rampages have Rage Ain't, yeah. is much easier to KO online compared to, to Iceborne. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, guys. Monster Hunter World was a steaming pile of poop, and Monster Hunter Rise is better in every way. <laughs> How to start a fight in a Monster Hunter lobby. <laughs> It's like boys versus girls. Girls are better. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Let's see. What do we got? Oh, man. Look at these little bugs. Wait a second. There's some ore. I got to get some of that good low... Oh! No, 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 no! I'm trying to carve it. I'm trying to mine it. I'm trying to pop it. Bombberry, that could be useful. I was using my low rank gear of Tamisu, but at that point I was getting hit pretty dang hard. Magnamalo is immune to the influence of the rampage and instead exploits it for its own gauge. Gain. Don't forget the wirebug trick. Wait, I want to try the wirebug trick. Mr. Lonely uh, Turnip, I already missed it. I was busy, busy gathering, mister. I gotta get all that stuff. I prefer rice style. Wouldn't never say better than world, just different. Been a long time since I've seen Terra. What's up, Rhythm of the Night? Once upon a time, we used to have good times over here. So, let's go upgrade that Narga Hammer. Let's go get an upgrade. Okay, upgrade weapon, hammer. There it is. 
And it looks like we have enough to upgrade one of the weapons. See, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now we can also upgrade this, because we have the marrow. We have everything for the upgrade twice, so we can upgrade a greatsword too, right? Now the problem is here, we need a Narga Medulla. Narga Medulla. We want it, because we want that white sharpness. Gotta get that white sharpness. We uh, even lack the money to do this. You can see we would need a lot more money. So, uh, I suppose what we should go out and do is farm, farm a Narga Kuga. High rank Narga. Narga Puga. Where am I going to find Narga Puga? Is he even in this list? Here he is with Tigrix and Toby. Alright, let's try this one. I'd love to have a quest where there's like two Narga Kugas. Does that exist? Sometimes that exists. Let's just look real fast. Nah, we aren't going to get in that. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so he's just this fight over here. Hunt a Narga Puga. Buff to Bushi and Narwa Arena. <clears throat> Capcom knows that Rampage isn't for everyone. They wouldn't keep them locked behind the Rampage indefinitely. I would name myself Crypt Boost Secret. I hope we can fight the Apex Monster and Ibushi in a separate quest. No, that would be illegal. Wah, wah! You know, it's kind of funny. You can just kind of go on the quest and not worry about the people who are supposed to be in your lobby readying up. And that's because there's only four people in the lobby. So those four people will always make it into the quest. So you can just start as soon as you want. It doesn't really matter. Look at that. We got blue sharpness. How nice is that? Lucky life found? So lucky. Now we better keep mining these rocks because we're going to end up selling rocks to pay for upgrading the hammer whenever we get that missing medulla. So we need to farm the heck out of those rocks. Whee! You know, I was super conservative with all of the materials I had in Monster Hunter World. Iceborne, and then I stopped playing it. There was no point to all that collecting and all that conservation of all my uh, items. Because in the end, in the end, uh, I had a ton left over when I stopped playing. Might as well use everything you have while you have it. No limits. Just like with girlfriends. Let's see. Antidote herb. I'm antidote herb rich. Here's some poop. You ever feel like you don't want to collect the poop? Ah, man, I'm so bad at dodging doors. Really, I am. I'm so bad at it. How did he hit me, like, right off the bat? Like, his first move, he's like, there you go. Have a little bit of this. Am I, like, stuck? I think I'm, like, stuck. just happened? Oh, right. I have the other charge. Oh, that's a pity. I missed his head. Since the serpents are like Tio Luna, imagine the bond attack they could do together. Ooh. Wouldn't their bond attack destroy the world? They would destroy the monster hunter world. 
Oh, did you guys see that 369 come out? Oh, that's much harder hitting. That's good news, because we're not even done upgrading. Ow. That's good, because we haven't even been doing our Kegels. We could definitely do more. Oops, he knocked me out of the sky. Oh, he fainted me! Oh, no! Capcom's so clever, they said, we don't need to introduce lots of new monsters. In Monster Hunter Rise, what we'll do... Oh, Wellix died too. Be careful, guys. There's only one, uh... <laughs> there's only one life left. Oops. Oh, what was I saying, though? We don't need to introduce new monsters. We'll just hold all of the Elder Dragons back and re-release them. Oh, that's a spiderweb. Dink. They'll release, uh, you know, Nergigante, and it'll be like, whoa, we're getting Nergigante. It's like, you had Nergigante! <laughs> and here you see, we are releasing Kushala de Aura into the game. Thank you, Capcom! <laughs> this is some really nice free Dalph D. It's free! <laughs> Where'd he go? Let me add him. I want the I want the Ascargo. He stole it. Mister giving this channel attention. That's right. We gotta get some monster hunter hunts in. Sweet. Wait, is that Alex? Alex, why are you not a mod, Alex? Of course you you're supposed to be a mod. Hey, go, Mister. Now you're all super powerful over here. All right. Now hold up. One, two, three. I mean, if they remake them like a late turn Fatalis, no worry. You're looking kind of tired, man. Ah, uh -huh. I just can't dodge that roar, man. I'm so bad at dodging roars. Oh, I lost the other wire bug. <laughs> like, wait, it's not coming out. All right, that was a waste. Let's go ahead and grab this honey. The honey's not a waste. Ah! Me, 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 me. If they remake them like a late and Fatalis, no worries. Cheese says, can I be a mod? All right, Cheese, we'll make you a mod. Cheese, you gotta say, how dare you? <laughs> Dude! Ooh, look at that. We're hitting for almost 400 now. That's nice. I don't even know if that was Crypto's helping. Oh my gosh. Ow. <laughs> That's right, we got one life left, guys. Hold on, let me heal up. We got one life left, everyone. One life left. Better um, not get ourselves killed here. How you guys have so much health? How much? You got way more health than me. Wait, am I reading that right? Is that the kitty meow for you? You got to put the mail out. What do I hire you to do? Oh no, that's no good.
You know that hammer has a guard point switch skill? Perfect for wars. Perfect for being lame. Oh my god, I'm gonna die and lose the whole thing for everyone. I leave and now they're tripling to, tripping to Narda? What? No, Tobias! Hey yo, TCC, you're canceled. Canceled! Oh, how did we lose that? Man, no medulla? I blame everyone else, not myself. What are you doing over there? You got a little kitty following you? No, she's not staying here. Were you getting cereal? Yeah. Do you have a bowl of cereal? Yeah. Will you just eat cereal every day? Karis just eats cereal. That's the only thing she eats. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and eat. This is why we end up talking about all kinds of stuff like the news because grinding, man, grinding, it's uh, quite a grind. Back to work. Let's see what's going on in the news. I'm curious. Let's see if we can cause some lag for the live stream. Let's read some articles. President to announce executive action on guns tomorrow. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. Pence signs a seven-figure book deal, but Trump and other administration alums face a tough market in publishing. Uh, okay. Don't care about that. That's pretty boring news. Lead investigator changes answer about what he heard George Floyd saying in a video. Best Buy launches a new $200 membership program to fight Amazon. Very cool. I hope Best Buy stays in the game. Duck Dynasty star gets candid about viewers' ugly comments over their biracial son. What? What? <laughs> what? Children are being abandoned. Terror suspects arrested. Harris refused to visit the border. The newest danger at, to the U.S. as Kamala Harris stops at a bakery for a snack. What? Biden expected to take executive act action on gun control on Thursday oh man all right so that's the news executive action on guns he's gonna say guns you can't have them anymore and people who have guns are gonna say oh yeah come and take it finally fulfilling their fantasy of, of fighting off a tyrannical government all right let's see herbs I got herbs man Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you think I'm here to fight Nargakuga? I'm here to, to mine ore. This is Minecraft. Get out of my room. I'm playing mine. Oh, maybe I should pay attention. Let's grab this honey. We got some honey. Large wyvern tier. Here's some bone pile. You're done for. Oh. Someone stopped for a snack. I want to know if someone loses a penny real news. What? Where's the tea? So what are they going to cancel next? They're going to cancel Monster Hunter next, mister. Monster Hunter be asking me if I'm a boy or a girl. Canceled. Are you a boy or are you a girl? <laughs> Damn, dude, look at this monster get knocked down like three times. I'm going to have to learn a little more about that mountain because that's, that's pretty strong, it looks like. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misinterpreting, but that seems strong for multiplayer fights. The, the chain of knockdowns. Heart's broken. This secretly just high level collecting quest. I missed the day when the ship was stuck. Oh, in the news. <laughs> this 
The Suez Canal. The ship's stuck. Oh man, are they gonna unstuck the ship? Nargakuga Pelt. Oh man, we missed the tail entirely. The ship being stuck was banter. We got some great me memes from it. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to get on the monster. Everyone wants to keep attacking. I mean, it's kind of hard to predict where that monster is going to land, isn't it? Oh, man. I did not expect that. Monster toppling over and changing direction like that. Got me. Half of the news nowadays aren't even news, just clickbait. I want clickbait. Alright, time to beat him up. Aw oh, man, he moved out of the way. How did that not hit his tail? It was like literally in his tail. Makes no sense. You're my best pal. This is for my fellow hunters. Ready. Here it comes. <laughs> he was not kidding, man. He was really warning you that he was about to use the big move. Hold on. <laughs> they are respecting the monster's personal space. That's true. Hunting monsters in a video game is offensive. Monster just. Well, I'm very offended. We're hurting animals. We're forcing... This is dog fighting. I mean, we got dogs and the dogs are fighting. That's dog fighting. Hello. Can we not teach our children to dog fight? I'm very offended. Somebody give me the news. Quick. I'm getting on Instagram. I gotta let my followers know. <laughs> I would never allow this. <laughs> it's time to put a stop to Capcom and their evil dog fighting are we really going to let a new generation of children learn about dog fighting? I thought we were better than this. <laughs> oh! I think I'm angry just because the characters aren't all wearing masks. I mean, what kind of role model are we setting? Oh, there we go. He felt that too. You see him do the big flinch after that? Every character should come with a built-in mask. Like, if you remove the helmet, the character should be wearing a mask. Oh, he's out of here. Ow. How could you hunt Ibushi? He's so cute. Monster Hunter promotes forcing cats to do labor. That's right. Was there something to collect over here? Oh yeah, this little bug, god bug. Remember that article of uh, Monster Hunter, criticizing Monster Hunter World? That it, it teaches like what was it like colonialism or something I can't remember it was something about the whole story of Iceborne is about how the monsters we need to get them out of the environment and but they were here first and oh well we're colonizing them I can't I don't remember they were, they were mad that the whole grind was just attacking monsters <laughs> I remember I made a video about it because it was so outrageous hey there we go Narga Medulla why are we getting roared at? Go away, whatever you are. We got parts to grind. Technically, we aren't invading their homeland and killing them for our, our 
technically aren't we invading their homeland and killing them for our conquest? That's right, because we're evil conquesters. Conquistadors. Evil, man. This isn't what... This isn't what CNN taught me to do. This is bad stuff. Clear crystal... We got Cascade Prism! Chat, do any of you have Magnum Allo Amiibo? I do. I have the Magnum Allo Amiibo because Capcom was kind enough to send me one in the mail as a gift. C Capcom sent me a Magnum Allo. I should show that off. Imagine buying a game called Monster Hunter and getting mad that you hunt monsters. I know, right? But maybe that's what all, maybe that's what all journalism is these days. Like, how do we get people mad at us? I don't know. I, I bet not. I bet some of it's really genuine. They really feel that way. They're like, how dare you? Okay, so next we need to make some monies. And you know how that's done. We're going to have to sell some stuff. The green grocer? Can we buy stuff from the green grocer? Those are daiku radishes, by the way. Sell from the box. Let's sort it. Okay, so it's all sorted up now. We got a bunch of monster bones. Monster bones that cost a bit more. We got 50 of these monster bones. Okay, we sold some monster bones. How about ore though? Oh, here's the ore, it's right above it, I'm so stupid. The armor spheres, I remember armor spheres being something that you don't need. We will get all these armor spheres back. I'll sell those off. Dragonite ore. Alright, that made us some money. Carbolite ore, that made us some money. Okay. There it is, Narcacugo. <laughs> Look at that question mark. And it wants us to give up some stuff here too, huh? Well, there you go. And now we've crafted our fully upgraded Knight Eternal with 180 attack, white sharpness, affinity of 45%, and a medium decoration slot. Or level 2 decoration slot. Might be easier to start calling it level one, level two, stuff like that. Craft a few nets. Um, you know, uh, I suppose the next thing to do would probably be to upgrade the hammer. How about the one I'm wearing? Really, do I gotta scroll down to it? No way, does it really make you scroll down? I'd like to upgrade the one that I'm wearing. Hold on. What? Well, wait, is it is it even upgradable? Oh, maybe we can't upgrade it. You don't have the original weapon. What? Well, it says 15 Nargas and no Medulla. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. So, the next thing we will probably work on is uh, fin finishing an armor set. That that makes sense, right? So, I think the Zenogre helmet is really a good idea. And it says here we need a Zenogre Electro Fur. So, we're going after Zenogre next. And we've got the fully upgraded Narga Hammer. Here's another Nargakuga and Rajang. Is there any other reason to fight Rajang? Ah, uh, we'll just fight a single. Yeah, we'll fight a single Zenogre. We'll stay focused. 
You already capped. It's upgrade, says Steve. Oh, I gotcha. Thank you very much. So it's non-upgradable. Oh, maybe it's not upgrading that I was trying to do. Maybe it was, uh, hold on. It wasn't upgrading that I was looking for. Ramp up weapons. That's what I was looking for. Oops. So we can get attack boost three. Affinity. Master Rider. Okay, well, we're going to go with this, attack boost 3. So that's what I wanted to do. Ramp up for a bit more attack, says Mr. Fragproof. Ah, there you go. Oh, Mr. Fragproof has said it earlier. He says you want ramp up. That's right. Sawed on Nickelodeon says, I own Deluxe Edition with Monster Hunter Rise, and my ami amiibos come today. Hurry up, Fenix! Now I gotta ask you guys, you see how my health bar, it obviously can go much larger, much higher. Is there a way to fill that out? Like will a max potion fill that out? I think somebody, excuse me, I think somebody said max potions don't do that anymore. Master Rider lets you slam them four times instead of three when mounted. I mean, that's pretty nice. Let's see. An extra wall slam. Actually, if you think about it, it's nice for doing what the one guy's doing. He, he keeps riding the monster, and then uh, he, he has the one monster attack the other monster. That seems kind of useful. For anyone who wants to join before we're done, here's the lobby ID, 7QDKQH. Oh, it looks like somebody did get in. I'm sorry. It looked like, oh, only three people were in the quest. I see. My bad, it looked like <laughs> I was interpreting it wrong. Let me grab this honey. Might as well. <laughs> Looks like you lose the white sharpness pretty fast. I don't know how many hits of white sharpness that is. Oh man, that's a lot more damage. We're hitting 100 just on that brutal upswing, huh? No Poke fans in here, says Alex. No, that's not true. We got Poke fans in here. How many people from my car channel are here watching Monster Hunter today? Oh my gosh. How many hunters can join the lobby via online? Just a total of four. So three people can... I'm not even paying attention. So three people can join. Be careful, guys. I just died. I think we have one cart left. Next person to die... TGC is second with Drew from the quest. Next person to die is going to cause the, uh, the quest to fail. My bad. I was reading the comments. I appreciate how Narwa somehow pulls out functional siege weapons from the ground. I know, right? Like, he's like, here you go. I found this under a rock. Boop. Alright, let's catch back up. <laughs> None of that landed at all. Oh. 
Get him while he's down. He sure likes jumping around. Ah, darn. Which way is he falling? Woo! Woo! 370 per hit, that's nice. So much better than what we've been doing. I literally jumped into that. Do you know the uh, mid-air spinning, spinning bludgeon is not good for our small white sharpness bar, is it? Oh man. How can Monster Hunter make Monster Hunter less violent? Oh. oh, there's wind pressure to that move. So strange. No! No! We'll never make it! Oh. <laughs> Was that a three, three life hunt? Did three of us die? Oh, man. I thought I was the only player who died. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just make sure that we didn't get it done. Somebody mentioned that there's a wish list again. Let's just go over here. All right. How do we add to the wish list? Add to wish list. All right. Very good. I am back, and we still need to fight him, unfortunately. They already turned any blood into dust. I don't know what else they could do. What? There's no blood in this game? Dude, give me the Doom of Doom Edition. Monster Hunter Rise Doom Edition. Oh man, wouldn't it be cool if they did have like a Doom crossover? That'd be awesome. I was using arts constantly when try playing online until I got flinch free. All right, so we got room for another. We have ZQDKQH and the passcode is 6969. Thanks. Need to charge the controller. Thanks for the hunts. No problem. Let's go. Chat, do you own the Monster Hunter Rise Pro Controller? I got one of those in the mail from Capcom as well. I need to show those off. Here we are. I used the charge switch skill for the free flinch free. What? Tobias says, I'm just going to climb this, huh? Sweet. Think it's that easy, Tobias? Not now. Was this faster? I don't think it was faster. Don't do it. Oh! Oh right, we have, we're on the other charge. 
Oh, he got me with the tail. He's hitting hard, man. You're my best pal. With the Nargapuga. Alright, he's not coming after us. Missing that move. Hard's broken, man. He really gets torn up during that, that little monster battle. There it is, the Nogur Electro Electro for required materials gathered. We could probably just go back now, um, but you know, we're going to keep going for anyone who who maybe needs the materials for Zenogre. I forget what exactly it was called since I bought it months ago, but I found it on Amazon for 40 bucks. Zenogre gains power from friendship. That's true. Is this an attack up? Yeah, it is. And we'll grab this Honey. Oh, God damn it. Oh, the flash missed him too. That's too bad. That's a flinch. Three hundred and eighty-one. That's that's way better than what we've been doing. Oh my gosh! I can't believe he gave that to us. Hit him right in the head. <laughs> The Nogger gains power from friendship. I forgot exactly what it's called. Man, this is a slow chat room, man. I'm ready to join when you're ready, game economist. You're ready? Quick, join! What's your guys' favorite monster in Monster Hunter Rise? Uh, my favorite monster in Monster Hunter Rise is uh, Zamtrios. Oh, nice. We broke his horn, and we got a good flinch for the team, too. Ow. He's looking a little electric. Oh, how did that miss? We're, we're going for it because he's going to stay paused for only a moment. Whoa, somebody using sleep powder or something on him? What was that? Nargapuga. Right. 
That sucks. I actually shouldn't have done that at all. That was terrible. So let's go ahead and gather up these materials. Wyvern tier. Large wyvern tier. That's so many points. Here's an herb. Where is the monster hunter health bar? That's right. We need health bars. I love Almudron and Bish... Bish and Tan. What? Never heard of those Pokemon before. Oh man, I I gotta say they really really nerfed the sliding attack. It is not the same as the one in World. World had a lot more control. I'm about to die. Do you recommend weapon wise for people who are new to the series of the game? Uh, weapon wise, I recommend using the uh, hammer or great sword. They're really simple, they're very easy to use, and not just that, but especially the great sword, uh, not just that. Unlike the bow and the bow guns, those, those are expensive to use, especially in the early game because they require materials. So you could use like long sword, you could use dual blades. Uh, I feel like dual blades and sword and shield are a little too complicated. If they're the same as, actually I don't know if they are, but if they're the same as world, where the focus is to kind of understand elemental damage. So I don't know about dual blades and sword and shield, that might be pretty complicated. Nice, I got a hit in. I think switch axe and, and long sword are okay actually. It used to be that longsword was really easy to use because of a really large, um, what's the word, both a large hitbox and a large invulnerability frame during the, I don't remember the name of the move anymore, the move where you would dodge through the attack and counterattack. So that used to make the uh, longsword really OP in Monster Hunter World, Iceborne in Monster Hunter World, but they nerfed it because they knew it was like too strong. So I don't know how good it is here in... I don't know how good it is here in uh, Rise, but I'm, I'm guessing that the balance changes they made carried over. That's my guess. Uh-oh. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> He's getting mad. It's coming for you. Oh my god. He's going to hit hard. I think he was coming after us, guys. Hunting horn is now very simple, says Row B. Oh! He wasn't even aiming at me. You're just not allowed to touch his body during that move. Ah, oh, same there. We're going to be KO'd if we're not careful. Parts broken. Well, my uh, electricity flickered for a second there, guys. We might lose connection. There we go. All right. 
Hunt him down, boys. Chase him down. Did he go up top? He went up top. Ah, oh, darn, that sucks. So I'm gonna wake him up with the, uh... Oh! The combat is probably the best in any monster in a game, I feel. It's like Iceborne plus bonus skills. Get him, TGC second. TGC second about to finish this fight right now. I didn't mount so fast. He didn't mount move. A skill that mounts very quickly. Alright. Well, we could have left that at the beginning of the fight and just made the Zenogre helmet, I suppose. Really don't like the talkative characters. You don't like the talkative characters? That's the best part! Anything out here to mar mine or farm or anything like that? Here's a little outcrop. Okay. Gotta keep farming that ore because you can sell it off for money, right? And apparently when you start, you're, you're money poor. So you grab that ore every time. That's a big part of your earnings from a, a round out uh, in the wilderness or whatever. Fine now. The worst part of World SOS <laughs> Quest job, is all the gremlins using the super anime Quest voice, so every lobby is a bunch of hente noises? What? The? Oni chan! What do we got here? Zenogre Jasper. Wow, we got a Zenogre Jasper from the break, huh? I think I missed the rumble from the PlayStation controller. It adds a whole lot of weight to the combat that Switch just doesn't have. You know, it's weird. My hands hurt more using the little Switch controller, but it's, it's strangely similar to the Xbox controller, so I don't know what it is. I don't know why it hurts more to use this. I think the uh, joysticks are stiffer or something. I'm not sure. It's something. So, by the way, let's take a look at all the helmets real fast. Rapid Morph, there's Focus and Evade Extender, Heroics, Max Might, Speed Up, Reload Speed, Guard, Earplugs, Rapid Morph, Crit Draw, Resentment, Handicraft, no, Handicraft won't help, Crit Element, Latent Power, Weakness, Exploit. So this is probably what we're going to craft is this right here, but let's just take a look at the rest. Evade Window, Focus, and Slugger. Yeah, Focus is not sounding that bad for Hammers, to be honest with you. Uh, well, let's see, Jump Master, Crit Eye, Crit Draw, Sleep Attack, Windproof, Razor Sharp. Razor Sharp, by the way, for the Nargakuga Hammer is not sounding too bad either. I don't know if you guys thought of that. So we could go for Weakness Exploit to get more out of our Crit Boost build. Um, but I notice you lose your White Sharpness quite quickly. So 25% of the time, and if you get level 3... Let's see, what else do we have then? Uh, unfortunately, you'd have to also give up the chest. Is there no other way to build crit boost? I mean, you also pick up agitator and evade window. Those are both pretty good too. Having a level of uh, evade window was never a problem, right? Three levels of Razor Sharp. Just a thought. Focus Slugger seems pretty good. I don't know how good Slugger would actually be on the hammer. You know, if it, if it gives you only one more knockdown in the entire fight, it's just kind of like, meh, right? Compared to all the extra damage you could do. But Razor Sharp would help you hold on to White Sharpness 
And I was noticing I was losing my sharp sharpness quite quickly. So let's see. Speed eating. Free meal. Good luck. What's good luck? Good chance of increased quest rewards? That's cool. And what set is this? That's cool. Here's fortify. Item prolonged wide range. Attack boost. Defense boost. Offensive guard. Marathon runner peak performance. Alright. And none of these are going to be any good, right? I mean, here's fortify defense boost. What else do you need? Crit eye, poison attack. Stamina thief. Water attack. Item prolonger. Botanist. Geologist. So I'm just saying, um, I'm watching that, I'm looking at that razor sharp, and it seems kind of decent. Cause if you can get it to level, if you can get it to level three, it means you're gonna get 50% more on your sharpness. That is actually not that bad. Terror Boy says focus isn't that good on hammer because every charge level has its use, and focus makes them go to level three too fast. I sort of agree uh, with with you on that, God Terror Boy. However, I don't find myself using the brutal upswing very often. Often, that's because the new level three attack is too similar to brutal upswing. And then at the same time, I don't really use the level one charge either. And and that's because uh, your teammates tend to interrupt you if you try to do the full combo. So you know, level one charge on the hammer, and then you do that one little swipe, right? And then you follow that up into whatever the X button's giving you. I don't remember the name of all the moves. But I know what it is because I would do it in Monster Hunter World too, right? Well, the problem is if you're playing with anyone who can trip, you actually do get tripped out of that. So the best moves, from my opinion, is that new uh, whatever the move is where you advance real far. And it's similar to Brutal Upswing. And of course, the other one would be the uh, Brutal Big Bang, right? That's where you stand in place without touching the... Uh, the joystick and you do the whole you know the whole combo right in place so those are the two best moves and so focus on a hammer might actually make a little bit of sense upswing is faster and has really good ko potential yes but it does i would say it does significantly less damage now so if you're comparing it to that third charge because the third charge hits twice and it hits harder so if, if you're worried about getting another ko with the hammer i don't know how i feel about that i feel like you know, I'm open-minded to, like, figuring out what Slugger does and how good KOs are on the hammer compared to World. But if they haven't changed anything, like, let's say they brought the values over and nothing's really changed too much. Um, to me, it's all about level 3 charge then, right? Because the main moves are, again, Brutal, Big Bang, and whatever that new move is that lets you advance as far as, you know, Brutal Upswing would let you move. I use PP to slap monster with my PP. Yeah, Slugger's use is only for getting KOs faster. Uh, Mr. Fragproof says, instead of Razor Sharp, Speed Sharpening is a level 1 decoration. Okay. Speed Sharpening, huh? Yeah, but you know, even just going into the Sharpening animation is pretty costly. But I, I see what you're saying. Well, let's go ahead and build that Zenogre helmet, because that's what we came here to do. Latent Power and Weakness Exploit are great. Of course, the latent power won't be quite as important, but we'll take a look at our armor now. Oh, is there no way to see it all together? That's kind of annoying. So let's see, we've got <laughs> two levels of latent power currently. Two levels of crit boost. Two levels of weakness exploit. Two levels of recovery upon constitution and wide range. So that must be some other pizza armor we're wearing. Getting crit boost to level 3 is going to be pretty uh, high on the list of important things to do. Or weakness exploit to level 3, one or the other. Uh, weakness exploit works the same way, where it jumps from 30 to 50 on level 3. So level 3 weakness exploit will basically give us 100% affinity. Well, it'll be 95 so getting that last level of weakness exploits a big deal. Excuse me.
There we go. Search sort by skills, weakness, exploit. Okay. So we can't give up. We can't give up the uh, legs, and we've already got two levels of it from the Zanoga armor, and that's it, huh? So we're just down to talismans, like what people were saying. We need talismans for the weakness exploit, or maybe a weakness exploit decoration. God Terror Boy says, do the five star quest, honing your hammer, and equip the water strike switch skill. Go over to Moonbow Charm Melding and try to meld for a Wex One Charm. I agree. Let's do that. Now, Rebirth, that one's for. Meld multiple talismans by providing a certain amount of talismans. That's for combining your talismans, right? And and so this is the one I want. And you just have to have good materials for it, right? Alright, and it looks like the Narwa materials give you the most value. I do not have a lot of materials. Here's a Nargakuga. Friend voucher. I mean, I could just, I could just craft all the Narwa stuff because, I mean, I could just use all the Narwa stuff because I saw the Narwa armor. It's not exactly what I want. We don't want to waste any Narwa. We need uh, something worth 10 points. Nothing's worth 10 points. So let's take back one more of these. We need something worth 75 points now. Okay. Alright, that's fine. We could be 15 over. Okay. Use Defender Tickets. You want Moonbow, says Reckless Maniac. Really, Moonbow. So, hold on. Give me a minute. Moonbow? Why do we want Moonbow? Oh, you can actually specifically go after a skill. I didn't know that. Okay, well that's fine. We still have more materials. Let's use more material materials. Okay, that fills out pretty well. Wisp of mystery is random. Gotcha. Okay, so we have our weakness exploit talisman with uh, Mr. Man with the umbrella, and if I recall. There's a math equation that says once you're over 65% affinity, is it 65 or 75? Once you're after, once you're over 65% affinity, it's better to take level three crit boost. So my guess is we're going to try and use the talisman to replace weakness exploit, and and then we will replace the chest with this. Uh, hold on, we will replace the chest. Where is it? Here it is with Remobra for crit boost. So this guy right here. Add to wish list. Remobras, where do we get Remobra hide? So Remobra hide, uh, somebody said that's not even a large monster, it's a small monster. Let's check our hunter notes. Here it is, Remobra. Small but agile flying wyvern. Known habitat, shrine ruins, frost island, sandy plains, flooded forest, lava caverns. Pretty much everywhere. <laughs> cool, so we need some of those flying snakes. You may want to know this, uh, but, but they buffed attack boost. So attack boost crit 2 
is better than no attack boost crit boost 3. Good tip fans, so attack boost has been buffed guys and the attack boost skill is valuable. Let's see, we're at 200, we're at 2 hours and 5 minutes now, so this is a good time to wrap up. The next time we jump in, we'll be working on our armor set, and once the armor set's really in a good place, we'll be ready to work on taking a look at another weapon and finishing the switch skill for the hammer. Okay guys, so our character is surprisingly almost done with the game. I mean, once your armor's maxed out, I guess the last thing to do is grind for decorations decorations and maybe like special um talismans so we're almost we're almost done i mean we're gonna get the chest piece L let's take a quick look at what we want for the waist and the armor the waist and the arms are what we're we're thinking about right so it's all about the skills right earplug evade window hellflyer dragon attack bubbly dance free meal evade extender attack boost from the anja coil is probably going to be uh, a good choice. Okay. Let's see what else. Here's Mind's Eye, Crit Draw, Crit Eye, Bombardier, Crit Element, Agitator, Speed Eating, Free Meal, Aim Boobs. Heroics, Focus, Counter Strike, Crit Eye. We'll be ready to play around with the uh, great sword. Okay, and how about the arms? Let's see. Isn't attack boost 6 CB3 still better than attack boost 7 CB2? So it's got tear boy. There's that bludgeoner skill. So you could get three levels of bludgeoner between these three and play totally different. What does bludgeoner do again? Let's see. Oops. Let's see what bludgeoner does again. I'm curious. 10% attack power when your sharpness gauge is yellow or lower. 10% attack power when your sharpness gauge is green or lower. Very interesting. I feel like that might be a, a good choice if there was a hammer with a large green sharpness bar and very high attack. 10%. I mean, you're talking about percentage, not 10 points. 10%. That's uh, something to pay attention to, in my opinion. Something to pay attention to. So let's see. Hellflyer, the handicraft, we don't need handicraft. There's attack boost slugger 2 on the Andrew arms. We're going to go ahead and save these. So we're there. Not, not for the slugger. Slugger, again, probably not too important on the hammer, but the attack boost is uh, going to give us... What does that give us between the two? So attack boost 4 is what it would give us. Wait, does attack boost do the same thing it, it used to do in the old game? The previous game? Oh, it does? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. How do I scroll down? Is there no way to scroll down on the skill info? Okay, weird. I don't know how to scroll down on it. I was going to say, does it still give you that bonus uh, affinity when you reach level 4? Crit element... That'll be important for elemental weapons, probably. Wide range. <laughs> I noticed there's no... Oh, here we go. Here's another attack boost. Huh. Attack boost affinity slide could be useful on the hammer for really specific fights. I noticed, though, uh, with the hammer in Monster Hunter World, you, you could slide off of so much stuff in Monster Hunter World. In Rise, it feels like it's so much more... Uh, limited it feels like they they give you really specific areas where you can slide so you can find like a hill and it won't allow you to slide and then you can find a different hill and it does allow you to slide and you just happen to have to be on it so affinity sliding is definitely a weakened skill in monster and rise from my point of view wall runner speed recovery thunder attack huh there's a skill called wall runner I wonder if Stamina Thief is any good. It was not very good in uh, World. Okay, so that gives us an impression. It's looking like those Anja Arms are really good for attack boost. And uh, I need to look at the Hammers again and see if there's any that really offer something solid. Let's, let's see, we need to see what weapon we're using first of all.
Well, the hammer we're using is 180 attack with white sharpness and 45% affinity, which is pretty damn hard to beat. So now let's, let's just look around for the sake of it, for the fun of it, at the best bludgeoner weapon real fast. I'm not saying bludgeoner is optimal at all, but I'm saying let's look at the best one. That's 200, 210. So here's Striped Striker with negative affinity, negative 20%. And you could lose your blue sharpness pretty fast on that one, it looks like. Okay, here's the Anjanath Hammer, and it's got a very small... But you know what? It's got a pretty small green sharpness bar, too. So you wouldn't activate that. You'll get 10%, which is an additional 23 would be 252. And that tiny bit of fire damage, which is basically meaningless. Nah, I don't think so. I don't, it's the negative affinity that does it for me. Like, the negative affinity means that you just have no synergy with crit boost. You're not going to use, like, weakness, exploit, and crit boost together. You know, because you're just... You're never going to activate that. I, I guess you could just go, like, full attack, though. I don't know. Negative affinity? That's terrible, you know? You're going to you're gonna get weak hits. Oh, this is interesting. So, this weapon actually starts with green sharpness. So, you don't even need to lose the sharpness. And a little bit of paralysis means you get a KO in one paralysis. So that's kind of interesting. Paralysis tree. Azuroth roast tree looks terrible. Yeah, here's one too. The Diablos hammer. 220 attack. Element none. Will they have the elementless skill in the game again? The uh, non-elemental attack boost or whatever it was called. So 220, negative 25. Affinity. Oh, here we go. The Atlas hammer. This almost looks like it was made just for the bludgeoner skill. Large green sharpness bar, 230 attack, no negative affinity. You know, uh, 180 attack versus 230 attack, that's a difference of 50. That's quite a bit. And then on top of that, you're tossing another 23 because of bludgeoner. So that's 252 attack. If you could manage to build up, you know, uh, Wow, that's a good question. I wonder which way you would build this. That's not bad. Uh, I wonder which one is more optimal then. They're probably close if I had to guess. Hmm. I, I, you know, I feel like it depends on how well you could build weakness exploit and crit boost. Uh, and probably crit eye as well, a little bit of crit eye. So if you have enough room from all your decorations to still build all those up, Atlas Hammer with Bludgeoner might end up being your optimal build. Red Bludgeoner, Yeti Hammer is kind of cool, but not very good. Here's the one we're using. So let's take a let's take another fair look at this. 45% built-in affinity means you have more room to build something like attack boost, okay? And and uh, Fan was just telling me that attack boost in, in Rise is better than in World. I don't know by how much, so I don't quite understand that part. But you've got a little bit of white sharpness. The problem I have with that white sharpness is you lose it pretty fast. So the white sharpness is nice, but it only lasts for a limited number of hits. And then you need to resharpen and... Typically, the monster hasn't run off to the next area. Then you're really talking about 180 attack with blue sharpness. That's what you're talking about. And the reason this set is so good is because of the 45% affinity, which is going to pair off with crit boost and leave you room to build attack boost. That's why this hammer is good. It's because you can build attack boost. But, you know, if you can build bludgeoner, wouldn't it be funny? We're, we're doing all this work and there's a better hammer, maybe. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, we were just looking at it. Where'd that big hammer go? What was it called? It was a bone tree, right? Bone tree 2 or something like that? Oh, here it is. Bone tree 2. So with the Atlas hammer, you're not going to have to sharpen in the middle of the fight. You're already starting at 230 attack. And if, you're, if your bludgeoner is bringing that up by 23... And you just find a way to... Because I think that the 23 
bonus attack, is that higher than what you would get from attack boost? That should mean you have room to build crit eye with weakness exploit. Are there other benefits to white sharpness that I'm not thinking of, or white and blue sharpness? Part break bonus, maybe, I don't know. Very interesting. Start on the bone tree, get the rampage skill that pairs with bludgeoner, and then go into bone two with that. Oh, okay. Oh, God Terror Boy says elementless is ramp up. Narga is still better than Atlas. Uh, bludgeoner, I'm pretty sure. Narga is still better than Atlas. Bludgeoner, I'm pretty sure. Read Terra's comment, says Wellix. Well, I, you know, I'm reading it for myself. I'm reading, I'm reading this stuff for myself. So you think that the Nargakuga hammer is still stronger? I would, I think I'd agree with you in the early game, but I suspect the Atlas hammer is going to end up being better in the late game after you've got all the equipment is what I mean. So it, let's say that you had every decoration you could have. It was all maxed out because you're playing on PC or something. I have a feeling you would be able to put together a stronger Atlas Hammer build. Now, I could be wrong about that. This is just my impression just looking at it. Um, that's just my impression looking at it. I see. So, Smile says green is raw times 1.05 versus white, which is 1.32, according to Rise Wiki. Uh, that's too bad. All right. Well, it's, you know, I... They give you the bludgeoner skill and you just want to use it, don't you? You just want to use it because it's sitting there saying, hey, the hammer, of course the hammer and bludgeoning skill go together, right? A and then you guys are here telling me, well, the math comes out and it's still not that good. Sharpness modifiers and get speed sharp in threes. That's God Terror Boy. Narga is the best hammer, then it's Goss Hammer. <laughs> Gage Stewart says canceled. Ah oh, man, this game this game's no fun. It, it they never let you have fun with the skill you want to lose or the skill you want to use, right? They're always like, "No, nah, you're going to have to use the same thing everyone else is using." A lot of monster parts bounce off of blue sharpness and lower, and bouncing leaves you exposed to attacks due to character animations. You're correct, Reckless. That's right. White sharpness allows you to have some mind's eye that uh, so your weapon does not deflect. But I, I do have to say this, Reckless Maniac, when it comes to hammer attacks, a lot of the hammer attacks have built-in Mind's Eye anyways, kind of like the way Hunting Horn was working. There's a lot of moves that can't be deflected. They just ignore deflect. So that wouldn't be a big problem for the hammer unless you were using certain moves. All right, guys, well, this is a good time to wrap up. We've gone for two hours and 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream here. Uh, when we come back, we'll be looking for that Anjanath Waste and Anjanath Arms. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys will take a moment and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.